Hello, Brethren Village. This is Doug, the ground supervisor. I want to give you a spring update on what is the grounds team doing right now. Uh, so what we're going to cover is I'm going to give you a couple spring tips. I'm uh, going to talk about lawns, going to talk about uh, uh, projects, landscape projects, uh, spotted lantern fly, and last and most important, we're going to talk a little bit about mulching. Uh, so first of all, a couple tips for this spring. If you noticed, early in March, it seemed like it was going to be really warm and hot because it was warmer in March and all of a sudden it got really cool. So one of the things I've noticed around campus, if we have some plants that are stressed, uh, it's going to take them a little while to recover uh, with the temperatures being as cool as they are. Like today, I still have my hoods up, hood up on my sweatshirts. Um, and you know, it just takes a little while for plants to recover. They need temperatures in the 70s to 80s if they were stressed to really feel good and really want to start growing again. Some plants are also, and trees are more southern uh, in uh, growing habits. They're usually to the uh, you know, southern climates, so they also take longer to recover. So just keep that in mind when you see plants that may be struggling. The other thing I noticed, because the winter was so warm, there are several trees on campus, maple trees and zelkova trees that send out seed pods in the spring and they go everywhere. You've probably seen them on parking lots and everything. Well, if the winter's not cold enough, it doesn't kill off enough of those seedlings uh, and you'll see them starting to pop up everywhere. The big challenge for the grounds team is they have to grow and leaf out in order for us to spray them and to to kill them basically and not be there anymore. So uh, the other thing I wanted to go over was lawns. Okay, so what about lawns this year? So with uh, all of our COVID-19 issues and um, all the things that the staff has been doing other than grounds work, uh, we did not feed our lawns in the spring yet, okay? Uh, and matter of fact, we will be skipping that lawn application. They still look fairly well. We've been mowing the grass trying to keep after, keep things as neat as we can. Uh, what we will be doing is in June, probably mid to late June, we'll start doing our summer um, uh, grub control application. So look for that coming up. Uh, we'll send out a notice that that's going to go on uh, and we'll put flags in the areas um, where we are, where we fertilize. So you know that we were there so you can stay off the lawn. And we'll also try and leave areas around our, our bigger buildings that if you have pets, you have a place to take your pets to go in, into the yard. So um, the other thing is, is what about improving landscapes? Well, uh, we always have things we want to do around campus. Right now, everything's kind of suspended, kind of on hold. Uh, as, as we get into June, I will determine what we're going to start working on. Uh, right now, in order to keep everyone safe here on campus and also keep our team members safe, I'm not sending any of the grounds team or myself out uh, to pick up any shrubs to do any new projects, uh, just to reduce our, um, a bit, our, our need to get around other people. So just to keep everyone safe here, we kind of suspended those things. Um, but we've had plenty to do. Uh, you know, we're keeping after the lawns, keeping the uh, keep things uh, trimmed as far as string trimming. We will be starting trimming shrubbery coming up in uh, June. Uh, we'll start doing some trimming uh, and that'll continue on up until winter uh, from here on out. Um, so the other thing that we got to really pay attention to this year is our spotted lantern flies. I did a, a video on spotted lantern flies. You can probably find that on our YouTube channel. Uh, but just to update you, uh, there is a life cycle of our spotted lantern flies and we're still in the egg stage where they're in eggs yet. I did not see any hatched, hatching out as of yet. Um, the first stage will be a, the first instar nymph uh, and those are going to be really hard to see. So what is the grounds team doing? Because when we get around the cycle here, we're going to be in this adult stage and that's where everybody sees them. So our plan, um, and we've been working on that, we started that in early March, is we're doing tree injection. So 
there's maple trees and some different trees that they're really attracted to and that's where we see the egg uh, sacs on. Uh, so we are going to be injecting those trees. We've already done some of them, but we'll continue to do that. And hopefully that'll knock down the, the nymph stages to eliminate some of our adults. One thing you have to realize is as we get into later in the year, we're gonna have spotted lantern flies no matter what we do here because they're gonna come in from everywhere else, neighborhoods, cars, different things. So we will continually be treating four spotted lantern flies as we go into the season. So, um, so just keep an eye on that. If you see us out injecting, uh, you know what we're doing. If we're drilling holes in trees, uh, there's a special, we drill a hole and put a special plug in and inject it uh, with uh, insecticide, fertilizer, and also uh, fungicide. So we, mul we do multiple treatments to trees that need it when we're doing this. So look for that. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be around doing that. Now, last thing, mulching. Mulching's coming up. Uh, uh, today is May 20th, okay? So we are going to be starting mulching next week uh, on the 26th of May. Now, what are we going to mulch? Well, we're not going to mulch everything. Everything's going to, I'm going to decide what gets mulched, but basically I'll give you an idea of what's going to happen. So if you see an area like this along the grass where we edged, we will be just doing the edge of these beds. We are not going to do the whole bed. Normally we're done mulching in the end of March, beginning of April. It's getting really late, but we want to dress this up to keep erosion down and also to make it look better. If you have evergreen trees, like back there, we will not be mulching them. Uh, it's too late and uh, they kind of make their own mulch with their needles that they drop. But if you have trees like this here, we will be mulching these tree rings to help brighten up the campus. So if you have, basically we're gonna do all the cottages, all the buildings, but not all the big bed areas and stuff around campus. So if you see some things done and some things not, um, that, uh, that's what we're doing. We're not gonna do everything this year. If you have planted flowers, uh, I saw people were out planting flowers in the last week, which is great, it's a great time to do that. Uh, we will probably avoid those areas if we feel it's going to damage the flowers. But here again, we're not doing the whole bed, we're just doing the edge. So look for that, that's gonna start next week. Be careful, uh, the contractors will be on with truck and a hose because we uh, use an air system to blow the mulch in. Uh, it's really effective. The other reason we don't wanna to get too uh, heavy on our mulch right now, obviously it's dry, it'll make more dust and we don't wanna get a lot of dirt in on the patios, sidewalks, windows, doors, et cetera. So if you have an area that has a sidewalk or something near you, it probably won't get mulched along there. Uh, we'll judge everything by the day that they're doing it. So um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me through our facility coordinator, Laura Todd. You can reach her at uh, the 717-581-4309. You can get her a message that you would like to talk to me. She'll get that to me uh, and I'll gladly get, uh, answer any questions you have. Um, grounds team is enjoying seeing everyone out walking around. We're going to try and keep Brethren Village looking as sharp and as clean as we can. Um, and I appreciate what everybody does uh, around campus to help keep uh, BV looking beautiful. So have a great day. Mm -hmm.